you can use the health regeneration over here definitely this one does matter and defense uh, and uh, absolute defense as well you do need so basically you're gonna have a chance of reviving basically uh, not reviving but you're gonna have a chance of not getting killed by one shot so order for you to push your enemies far far away from your uh, uh, tower in order for you to actually be able to kill them don't forget about these ones this will offer you opportunity every wave to get a f if you're gonna use these ones you're gonna be able uh, after a specific wave not to pay so many Welcome guys to Idle Games TV and we're gonna check out the Tower Challenge. Obviously a game over here on Idle Games TV YouTube channel. Well, it's not an idle game, I know, but we're gonna talk about the top 5 underrated upgrades that you're gonna be able to do over here in this awesome awesome game. I saw a lot of attention regarding this game, so I decided to basically show you top 5 upgrades that I think most of the players are not taking them into consideration, so you do need to check these things out. So we're gonna go over here in the upgrades in the workshop basically your offline workshop not the laboratory so not in the laboratory i only have three labs over here uh, you can definitely unlock the fourth one but don't bother honestly at least try to unlock uh, more uh, car slots over here my next uh, thing is gonna be to unlock that one but let's go over here in the workshop and as i mentioned we're gonna start with top five so the fifth one that i am definitely want to show you guys is gonna be the free upgrades now basically these are three upgrades but i'm just telling you just basically the fifth top so you're gonna do uh, free attack upgrades free defense upgrades and free utility upgrades definitely these ones do matter so please upgrade them also in the workshop but also uh, in the game when you're gonna try to uh, pass wave by wave so definitely these things will basically uh, offer you the opportunity to get a free upgrade depending on uh, which uh, section are you in so for example the free attack uh, offers you a chance of earning a free attack upgrade after completing a wave so the defense is the same thing so every time you're gonna complete the wave over here you're gonna have the possibility to get a free uh, upgrade now the maximum amount uh, is somewhere around uh, 54.5 so you do want to upgrade this one in the workshop as well but also in the gameplay so my main idea is gonna be that you're gonna do the upgrades over here in the workshop until you're gonna need up to 50k per upgrade until then after that sorry uh, don't bother putting uh, coins over here just do the upgrades in the game now this was the fifth one now guys we're gonna go for uh, for the second one basically that will go hand in hand with the third one so the second one will be multi-shot chance now obviously uh, gives you a chance to shoot more than one projectile when firing now this one goes up to 80 percent if i'm not mistaken somewhere around there and the multi-shot targets go hand in hand with this one but it's going to be the second one so number of projectiles to shoot when multi-shot activate so basically you can shoot up to nine targets at once so definitely this is going to be really really cool and definitely you are going to need this now this was the second one don't forget multi-shot and multi-shot chance with multi-shot targets definitely you do need to upgrade both of them you do not need to do all the upgrades in the multi-shot uh, target in the workshop i mean don't upgrade them to nine i did that by mistake but uh, definitely you can leave it somewhere around the uh, seven six because it's not going to cost you that much to upgrade it in the gameplay now this was two uh, the third one is going to be knockback chance guys so over here basically the knockback chance uh, b gives you an opportunity to let's say have a better defense if i'm going to be allowed to say that and also you need to upgrade the knockback force so force applied to knockback the enemy so in order for you not to have so many enemies really, really close to you, you do need to have a knockback chance a knockback force basically in order for you to push your enemies far far away from your uh, basically from your uh, tower in order for you to actually be able to kill them uh, with the multi chance uh, uh, skill that I just showed you. Now definitely don't forget the knockback chance. This is the third upgrade that you do definitely need to do. I also upgrade it over here in the workshop but also in the gameplay. Now guys the fourth one 
after we're gonna be able to upgrade everything in the defense workshop i mean it's gonna be the death defy now this one goes up to 30 percent uh definitely it's quite expensive to upgrade it in the workshop so as you can see in order for me to do the next upgrade is requires me 250k almost 260 so definitely quite 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 a lot but you do need to take that inspiration and try to upgrade at least at in the workshop and afterwards the gameplay is going to be even easier so the death defy basically gives you a chance of a killing hit to be uh, to the tower to be ignored so basically you're gonna have a chance of reviving basically uh, not reviving but you're gonna have a chance of not getting killed by one shot so if you're gonna have uh, one shot that kills you basically depending on the percentage that you're gonna have over here you're gonna be able to skip the death let's say like that and death defy is gonna be the fourth one that i just mentioned now guys the first one that i do want you guys to concentrate and believe me it will matter after a while after you're gonna go really really deep into this game is gonna be the lifesteal now believe me heal your tower by the percentage of lifesteal multiplied by damage dealt to the enemy on hit now guys this one does matter due to the fact that after a while after when you're gonna have let's say above 500k uh, health not damage health above 500k health you're gonna see that you do need to heal a bit now although you can use the health regeneration over here definitely this one does matter and defense uh, and uh, absolute defense as well you do need lifestyle because your enemies will be even harder depending on the tier that you're gonna be in so as i mentioned try to upgrade the lifestyle over here this one goes up to five or something five percentage if i'm not mistaken but definitely you do need to upgrade this as much as you can uh, this will be my next upgrade so i'm definitely trying to upgrade upgrade the lifesteal over here uh, in the workshop in order for me to basically be even more powerful now let's recap basically guys so the fifth one will be the free attacks the free upgrade sorry not the free attacks so free attack upgrade free defense upgrade and the free utility upgrade don't forget about these ones this will offer you opportunity every wave to get a free uh, upgrade so if you're gonna use these ones you're gonna be able uh, after a specific wave not to pay so many uh, such a high amount of cash basically so most probably i'll do a video regarding these free attacks because after wave 500 they do matter you're going to see that you're going to put a lot of coins in different kind of upgrades you're going to have most of your upgrades maxed up and definitely these free uh, upgrades will definitely help you quite 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 a lot now the second one the as I mentioned, it's going to be the multi-shot chance uh, going along with the multi-shot targets. So definitely watch out for this. The third one is going to be the knockback chance and the knockback force. So obviously two by two. You do need to have this... Uh, high high in upgrade also in the workshop but also in the game in order for you to keep your enemies really really far and as i mentioned the fourth one is going to be the death defy and the first one is going to be a lifesteal so definitely check these upgrades out as you can see three of them are in the defense upgrade so definitely you do need to watch out for your defense because the enemies are going to go really really hard on you they're going to get even stronger and stronger and you do need to survive you do need to have a chance of passing every way so don't forget guys about these upgrades let me know your top uh, tips and uh, regarding this game uh, drop them in the comments below if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel uh, definitely it will help and please smash that like button because other players are playing this game and definitely this is quite quite an awesome game i have uh, if i'm not mistaken a new game on the channel when you're gonna watch this one uh, it's called uh, idle uh, fortress tower defense basically is the same game like this one so please give this that game a try it has a different animation but basically the skills are quite the same so the same principle still applies i have made a tutorial about that one so please check that game out now guys until next time take care don't forget to subscribe watch the ads if you're not gonna put real money watch the ads because definitely they do matter stay safe guys bye